Hey, today we're going to be working on a series of hip opener postures um, that's inspired from the, the moon sequence uh, from Vinyasa Krama. Um, and we'll be exploring a few of the kind of most effective um, hip opener postures with variations for beginners. Um, now, if you've got a block, that will be really helpful for some of the variations, particularly to give you a little bit more support through the postures. Um, but if you don't have a block, you can also try this um, without. So we're gonna come to kneeling at the back of the mat. If you've got a block here, you can bring your feet either side of the block, and then you're just sitting back um, on the block. So we've got a little bit of extra height um, through the hips. If you don't have a block, you can be sitting um, on your heels. Now we're gonna take a couple of slow and steady breaths. So eyes could be closed or you can be softly looking down here. And we'll stay here for about five rounds of slow and steady breath. So finding a nice slow inhale, nice slow exhale. And then at the end of the next exhale, you're going to, on your inhale, start to reach the arms up and over the head. Exhale, you're going to slowly fold forward to a child's pose. Inhaling from here, we're coming up to our hands and knees. Exhaling, tucking the toes, lifting the hips up and back for the downward dog. And then you're slowly dropping the knees back down. So coming to the hands and knees here, untucking the toes, inhaling, arching through the chest and exhaling, sinking hips down towards the block or towards your heels. Inhaling, coming up to kneeling. So hands are coming to the hips here. Exhale, lifting the chest a little up, firming through the belly. Inhaling, coming back through a neutral position and exhale, sitting back down towards your block. We'll do this a couple of times. So inhaling, arms coming up, exhale, folding forward, inhaling, hands and knees and exhaling, hips come up and back downward dog. Using the next breath, dropping the knees down, opening through the chest on the inhale and exhaling, hips sink down for your child's pose. Inhaling, coming up to kneeling. See if you can allow your hips to draw a little forward and then exhale, lift up through the chest and firm through the belly. Inhaling, coming back through the middle, nice slow movement. And exhaling to sit back down to your block again. We'll do one more like this again. Inhaling, arms coming up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhaling, hands and knees. And exhaling. Downward dog. Inhaling, coming all the way through the hands and knees, open through the chest. Exhaling, child's pose. Inhaling, coming up to kneeling, firm through the belly. Exhaling, you can keep your chin tucked a little. Coming back through the center, Inhale and exhale to sit back down. We'll just add a few more postures on here, nice for the hips. Inhaling, arms reach up. Exhale, fold forward. 
Inhaling, hands and knees. And exhaling, downward dog. Inhale, left foot steps. Right knee drops, hands come to the hips. On the exhale, inhale, reach up through the arms. And exhaling, arms come down. Inhaling to your downward dog, heels high. And exhaling, heels start to drop. Inhale, right foot steps, left knee drops. Exhaling, hands to your hips. Inhaling, reach up through the arms. And exhaling, hands come down. Stepping back on your inhale, heels high. And exhaling, dropping through your heels. Coming back down to the hands and knees. Inhaling as you arch and exhaling, child's pose. Inhaling, coming up here to kneeling. Exhale, arching back. Inhaling through the middle and exhaling to kneeling. And we'll do this one more time. Again, arms come up on the inhale. Exhale. Fold forward, inhaling, hands and knees, and exhaling, downward dog. Again, left foot steps on your inhale, right knee drops. Exhale, hands to the hips, and inhaling, arms reach up. Exhale to lower back down here with the hands. Stepping back, heels high on your inhale. Exhale, heels drop. Inhaling, right foot steps, left knee drops. Exhale, hands to the hips. Inhaling, arms reach high. And exhaling, hands drop down. Stepping back on the inhale. Again, lift up high through the heels and exhaling, heels drop. Using the next inhale, transition through the hands and knees, open through the chest and exhaling, child's pose. Inhaling, coming up to kneeling here, hands to the hips. Exhaling as you arch a little back. Inhaling, coming through the middle and exhaling to kneeling. Great, so hopefully you're feeling a little warmer now. Um, we're going to explore a couple of um, seated postures um, where you can use the support of the block if you like. So I'll show with the, with the block, but if you don't have one, feel free to use a cushion or blanket or the extra height. So we're going to sit on the block. We're going to bring our feet together and um, knees apart. And you're really seeing if you can bring the feet as far away as you can without the balls of the feet um, separating. So for me, this is a little bit too far. If I bring it in a little closer, um, it works for me. This height in the hips can feel nice to give a bit more space in the front of the hips. Um, and then you're just going to rest the hands a little on the shins, bringing the gaze um, to look down here. See if you can soften around the shoulders, relaxing your face. And just focusing in on nice, slow inhale, nice, slow exhale. So we're staying in the posture a little longer. You might find you've got a little bit more space to walk the hands forward. You could play a little bit with folding forward from the hips, 
letting the head drop down. This feels too intense. You can stay a little uh, more upright. By all means, if you do have a bit more pain here in the knee or it feels a little tight, maybe the knees are a little higher, then you could also slide either some blocks or cushions under the knees for a bit of extra support. Now we're staying here three more breaths. So feeling free to adjust the positioning of the hands and the upper body as you need here. And then you're going to slowly walk up, so slowly coming up with the upper body. And then we're just going to bring the feet a little bit more in. We're getting a little bit into a different area of the hip here. You can adjust your position on the block as needed. Hands again could start little bit more sort of maybe closer to the um, top of the shins. So we're starting by sitting a little bit more upright. Chin could be tucked, eyes could be closed. Just taking a couple of slow, steady breaths. And then up to you, you can stay here a little bit more upright, or again, you could start to ease your weight a little forward from the upper body. So arms might reach a little forward, head might drop. Again, see if you can relax around the shoulders, around the face here. If you wanted, you could come down to the elbows. Or if you prefer, you could again stay that little bit more upright, hands closer to the hips. Staying here, two more breaths. And then if you were folded forward, you can slowly on the inhale, come back up um, to sitting. And then we're gonna once more bring the heels a little closer. And this is where the block really gives you a bit more space than if you were sitting on the mat here. So you can just allow the feet to fall open if that sort of feels comfortable. This time you could bring the hands a little bit first on the shins and just maybe drop with the help of the hands, the thighs a little down. That feels in too intense. You could have the support a little lighter so there's not so much heaviness um, in the hands. Again, gaze can be looking down or eyes can be closed here. And then you can stay here, so a little bit more upright with the torso. Or you can start to walk the arms a little forward and start to fold a little bit forward through the upper body. And if this third position feels um, a bit intense, you can just have the feet a little bit further away from you. So the closer the heels come to the hips, it becomes a little deeper kind of around, particularly the inner thighs and areas of the hips. We'll stay here three more breaths. So choosing either to maybe drop a little lower or stay again a little more upright. Staying one more breath. 
And then you can slowly on the inhale, come back up. You're using the help of the hands, knees close together. And then you can just come away from the block if you were sitting on one. We're going to be a little bit closer to the front of the mat. Knees can be bent. You can cup the back of the thighs. Slowly exhale, roll down here. And then once you're on the back, you can inhale, lift your legs up to the ceiling, maybe supporting the back of the thighs here. Exhaling, knees come out to the side. So we're a little bit like child's pose on the back here. And the thighs are gently stretching. And then exhale, feet come flat on the floor. Inhale, start to lift up through the hips. And exhaling, dropping back down again. Knees coming into the chest and rocking up to sitting. Um, the next pose we're going to do, you can also try either on the block um, or without the block. I'll show with the block for today. So you're going to come and sit on the block. Now we're first going to bring the um, right foot in. So you're kind of bending the right leg here and then the left knee is going to cross on top of the right. Now you could first just lift the hips a little, slide the hips onto the block here. So legs are crossing here, hands could be on the knees. And if this doesn't feel so comfortable, other option is to have uh, the right leg extended. This is particularly nice if you're without that block to give a bit more space in the hips. Either way, you're taking a moment to adjust the hips, um, adjust your position. Hands can come onto that top knee. Gaze again can be looking a little down here. And taking a couple of slow, steady breaths. Now from here, if it's comfortable, you can start to fold again a little further forward. So you might be down on the hands, or if you want extra height, you could be up on the fingertips here. And you're really allowing the weight in the back of the hips to drop down as you start to lean a little forward with the upper body. Staying here, one more breath. And then we're going to start to move over to the right. Now you could stay kind of um, folded forward as you do this, or you could come a little bit more upright. If you're more upright, your left hand might hold the left knee, right fingertips might be back. So we're either twisting upright or twisting with a little bit of a forward fold. Staying here, one more breath. And then you're gonna use your next inhale to come through the middle. And then you're turning to the left. So again, you might be more upright, this time right hand on the left knee, left hand behind, or you might be a little further um, folded forward, but still turning to the left. And we'll stay here. Three more breaths. And then you can slowly on the inhale, come back through the middle. Exhale, releasing the legs out, coming away from your block. 
And then we're going to once more have the knees bent, cup the back of the thighs. Exhale to rock down and inhaling, legs come up here. Bending the knees, so knees come out to the side here, hands resting on the knees. And then feet come down. Inhale to lift up through the hips. And exhaling, dropping the hips down. Knees come into the chest. And inhaling, rolling up to sitting again. Now we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So if you were using a block, you can come and sit up on the block again. This time the left leg comes underneath. So either it's bent or it's straight. If you can pick the same um, option that you did on the other side, right knee then starts to cross over. And again, you can lift the hips up and just kind of readjust your position so you're sitting comfortably. We'll hold the top knee. So we'll start with a few slow, steady breaths, sitting upright. And then you can either stay here or you can start to fold a little forward. Keep allowing the weight of the hips to draw back as you do this. And see if you can just soften the shoulders, relax the head down. Staying here, two more breaths. And then we're going to add a twist first, this time to the left. So you could be folded forward or you could be sitting upright. And you could close the eyes here. Staying here, one more breath. And then you're going to come back through the center. And from here, we're turning to the right. So again, you might start being a little bit more upright. Adding that twist in. And then if you like, you can start to also add a little bit of a forward um, lean with the upper body. Feeling free to make slight adjustments while you stay in the posture. So that might be either leaning more forward or easing a bit out of the posture. Staying here, two more breaths. And then you're going to slowly come back through the middle, coming out of the posture, so uncrossing through the legs, releasing the block. And we'll do one more of these rolling vinyasas. So this time, see so if you can move a little bit more slowly and with control through the belly as you lower down, so slowly rolling down. Inhale, legs come up here. Again, you're grounding through the lower back, so firming through the belly. Knees come out to the side here. Dropping the feet down. And inhale, lifting up through your hips. 
Exhaling, dropping the hips back down again. Knees come into the chest and coming up to sitting. Great. And we're just going to finish off with a um, little bit of relaxation, but with the feet together and the knees apart. Um, similar to when we were doing some of the postures before, if you wanted to place two blocks under the knees like this, you could. Um, if you're fine just with kind of gravity opening, you can do that instead. Hands can come to the belly and you're just going to lie down, close the eyes here. And with the hands on the belly, you might sort of play a little bit with your breathing here. So see on the inhale, if you can expand the breath down to the belly, breathe out towards the hands. And then exhaling as you breathe out, allow the belly to draw a little back away from the hands. And you can just continue this as we stay here for about one minute or so. And then you can just slowly stretch the legs out, reach the arms overhead, so arms coming away from the legs here. And then you can bend the knees, roll over onto one side, and coming up to sitting again. So thanks for joining me um, through this short practice focused on um, hip openers and a little bit that, um, yeah, sort of flowing vinyasa um, moon sequence. So it's worth mentioning, particularly the area of the hips is something that will take quite a long time to um, really notice um, effects in the um, finding more mobility and openness there. So I'd suggest see if you can find, um, maybe through this practice or other hip openers, something that you could try maybe three or, or four times a week. Um, and if you want support sort of building that into a home yoga practice, um, check out my free yoga at home guide where I've got sort of tips and tricks of how you can set that up um, on a regular basis. Thanks a lot and I'll see you next time.